suppose you want me to land this. What a beautiful fish. Beautiful brown trout. There we go. Off you go. That was great. A double header. What a wonderful way to start the day. My name is Colin McEwen, and welcome to the new Fly Fisher. When people think of New York, Usually they're thinking about skyscrapers, large crowds, concrete. They don't think about fly fishing. Well, the state of New York has probably got some of the best fly fishing opportunities in the United States. I'm here today on the West Sable River, fly fishing for brown trout with Rob Streeter. He's the author of the New York Fly Fishing Guide, and we're going to be talking about some of the opportunities that exist throughout the state of New York. It's going to be a great day. We're going to be talking about some dry fly fishing, a little bit of pocket water fishing as well as some nymphing a little bit later in the day. It's going to be a great program. Look forward to seeing you on the water. The new Fly Fisher is sponsored by Bank of Montreal Atlantic Salmon Federation MasterCard, Ducks Unlimited, Canada's conservation company, Teton Fly Reels, Hodgman Outdoor Products. Today we are fishing in the Eastern Adirondacks in the state of New York. The West Disable is probably one of the best known trout rivers in the state. Author Robert Streeter is my guide today and a kinder and more interesting man would have been hard to find. I just missed one. Robert's full-time employment is with the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. He is a freelance outdoor writer with numerous magazine and internet articles to his credit, and he is a long-standing member of the Outdoor Writers Association of America. We join Robert as he discusses why he wrote the book. Basically, the the way I designed my book and the way I wanted my book to come out was that I wanted to make it so that a fly fisherman could take my book, go to any place in the state, you know, even a place that he or she hasn't been to before, and be able to catch fish. And I wanted to have not only the best areas to fly fish, I also wanted to have more information. The back of the book has an extensive section where you can find fly shops in the different areas where you can uh, get camping information or information from the conservation department. So I wanted to make it so that you could go anywhere in the state and catch fish and have a good time and you had everything you needed to do that. And that's the way I set the book up and organized it. Time for sure. Or not. Basically, what we have going on today is a decent hatch of blueing olives. We're working uh, 
a pool here on the lower end of the off sable below Wilmington and there's some pretty nice browns rising. We're working with parachute patterns, number 18, size number 18, and the fish are taking them pretty well. Um, there's a lot of different hatches that you get into. At this time of year, we look for the blue wing olives. Um, we can get into some sulfurs. Uh, I guess the Cahill hatch is just pretty much starting to taper down. Um, we also see grasshoppers, some of the terrestrial patterns will work, and generally we have pretty good dry fly fishing. This has been a very good year. It's been a cool summer and the fish are doing very, very well, and we're doing, doing quite good this morning. We will be right back with more fly fishing. This is really exciting fishing. Uh, it's just towards sunset. Blue wing olive, size 18 to 20. There's brown trout rising all around us right now. It's so hard to detect the hits. You've got to really watch the fly, and it's so hard to see the fly. Unfortunately, we uh, don't have any parachutes because they would have been the ideal uh, fly to have, but we've got these little 18s and that we're trying our best. And, oh, there's one right there in front of me. I'm just gonna get this fly dried off. And I'll give it another try. The river is divided into three sections, the East Branch, West Branch, and the main Sable, which flows into Lake Champlain. The West Branch essentially begins in the region of Lake Placid, where it is swelled by a number of small brooks. It tumbles and glides through a series of beautiful gorges and panoramic valleys until it reaches the East Branch, where it marries to become the main Sable River. This, of course, eventually flows into Lake Champlain, Along its path, it changes character numerous times and unfortunately suffers from several man-made impediments, such as the dam in Wilmington. This is classic pocket water fishing, and many large brown trout lurk in the shadows of the numerous boulders and rocks. No. All right, nice fish. Fifteen, sixteen inches. There you go. Beautiful. The leaders we used today varied between seven to ten feet in length. The key was that we required long lengths of tippet material in sizes six x to seven x in order to accommodate the small flies we were using and to help fool these picky fish. All right. Hope you don't mind, Rob. I, look at them. They're splashing over near the shore now. Going for a ride. Oh, missed him. Okay. <laughs> There's some very nice trout here. Oh, nice fish. Yeah. 
That's a beauty. Out. There he is. There he goes. So Rob, where do you think we should start in here on this uh, culvert? We've got a bit of a bend pool. Well, basically you got some colder water coming in and the fish are going to orient to that colder water. So what I would do is walk in over here so you're a little bit downstream and work this whole foam line with your fly try and get a good drift right down through the foam line mm -hmm. work in close first try and get the closer fish and then work your way out more towards where that's coming in you saw one for, yep. to the rise and all right one. from yep. here at the head of right. the pool right on down all through that foam line you that's a pretty good deep fish. cut too isn't it yep and then you got that yep. that cool water coming yeah they in like they like that cold water source coming in now, what do you think we should start with? Something like a blooming um, olive? Yeah, I'm going to stay with the olive to start okay. off with. All right, let's get in there. Feel like a nice fish? Is it a brown or a brookie? It's a square tail. It's just such an incredibly beautiful fish. There you go. Thank you, sir. Robert has broken down his book into examinations of 10 distinct regions in the state of New York. Species that can be angled for in the state of New York include northern pike, salmon, steelhead, striped bass, dolphin, and the various eastern trout species. Besides the great details on species and locations, Robert's book also includes valuable information on public access points, hatches, and state fly shops, which will prove to be invaluable to fly fishers. The Asable is very famous for pocket water fishing. However, today the air temperatures combined with the bright sun seem to be making the pocket water trout reluctant to come to the surface. After several hours of vainly trying some nice looking water at the base of White Face Mountain, we eventually decided to go back down river to some more shaded runs and pools. We will be right back with more fly fishing. The trout were generally below the main ripple, holding behind large rocks or any type of current break. We methodically cast a fish, 
working from the closest to the farthest fish, thus reducing the chance of spooking them with our lines. However, when the fish are rising madly like this, it is hard to stay focused. Here we go. See a decent fish? I haven't caught one that hasn't been. He's about 12. <laughs> You're mine. It no, took no. me an hour, but I got you. Get him on the owl? Yeah. This is the one I kept missing, I think. All right, a double header. Giving the six weight rod a good bite. It's a size 18 fly, 6X tippet, so. I don't know how big he is, I haven't seen him yet. Oh, there we go. Put one back. Oh, I'm saying I'm not finished yet. This is what fly fishers love. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that stuff. Here we go. Down river. Making this cheating real thing. You get yours? Yeah. Landing them? Great. Yep. Okay, let's see this one in. Want me to move? No, that's fine. I think I'm okay. This guy's going down the river for some reason. I'll tell you what, I'll move down this way if you want to move up and fish these fish. No, I'm, I'm good. Am I going to be in your way with the fish? Well, let me just get them up back up river here. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Never mind. Never mind. Fight back the tears. Oh, there's more. I know. But if he took my fly. That was oh, the no, one I, I kept trying more. to get. I just found a couple more in my box. Hallelujah. You got any? I'll take a look. See if I still got the fly. I do have the fly. He didn't break off. He just got up. Uh, barbless hooks. For the tying recipes to the patterns we use today, or to learn more about our series, please visit us on the World Wide Web at www.thenewflyfisher.com. Nice fish. Boy. Come on the reel, don't yeah. mess around. Come right on the reel. Nice fish. <laughs> this guy's got some strength. The West Branch is probably the most famous brother of the Assabled Twins and is considered synonymous with fly fishing in the region. Anglers come great distances to fish this river, but typically they are from New York City. However, people from Montreal, Ottawa, and as far west as Toronto make the pilgrimage to fish these rich and beautiful waters. Beautiful 
little brown trout. Robert? Thank you. You're welcome. That come was back excellent. again sometime. <laughs> Everybody, if you get a chance, come to New York State. It's a wonderful place to go fly fishing. There's lots of opportunities. And if you do come here, you want to get Robert's book, New York Guide to Fly Fishing. It has great details and lots of uh, specifics about the different locations and different opportunities for you. From all of us here at the New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week. While fishing on the west of Sable River, we stayed at the beautiful Hungry Trout Motel. This wonderful facility, which is located just outside of Lake Placid, has become very popular with fly fishers and tourists from both Canada and the United States. It features a full-service fly shop, motel, and a great restaurant. For more information, call them at 1-800-766-9137 or check out their website. You can book a great fishing trip or weekend getaway and still take your family. The New Fly Fisher is sponsored by Bank of Montreal Atlantic Salmon Federation MasterCard, Ducks Unlimited, Canada's conservation company, Teton Fly Reels,